watch this video till the very end so that you would be able to solve any type of question on geometric progressions so before we start we should know what are geometric progressions let us see he is a magician and for the first person he has produced a gift for the second person he has produced two gifts and for the person three he has produced four gifts for the person four he has produced eight gifts so for each person he is just multiplying the gifts okay for, for the first there is one gift for the second two third four and fourth eight so one two four eight we can clearly see that he is multiplying by two so that becomes a geometric progression in which there is a common ratio here the common ratio is two that is the multiplication factor right so let us see how we can solve any type of geometric progression let us consider this is a geometric progression these are all the terms in the gp a1 a2 a3 up to an are the terms in gp then the nth term formula is tn equal to a r raised to the power n minus 1 here the tn refers to the nth term of gp where n is the number of terms in that gp a refers to the first term of gp while r refers to the common ratio of the terms in the gp further we need to know what is the formula to calculate the sum of the terms in the gp right so based on the value of common ratio we have two types of formulas which is sn equal to sn belongs to the sum of terms of uh, sum of n terms of gp so it is a into 1 minus r on 1 minus r when r is smaller than 1 while the other formula is sn equal to a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 when r is greater than 1. You can just pause the video here so that you can memorize all these formulas. Then if uh, a GP is given in which there are several terms like a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a up to infinite. So sum of infinite terms of GP is a upon 1 minus r. That's a simple formula. Let's go to the question. If the seventh term of a GP having all positive terms is 729 upon 1024 and the first term is 4 then you need to find the common ratio so what are given in the question you have t equal to uh, which is the seventh term t7 equal to 729 by 1024 a equal to 4 and we need to find the common ratio now we know the formula for the nth term of gp which is tn equal to a r is to the power n minus 1 so we just put the values here 729 by 1024 equal to this uh, we will go ahead further uh, with solving this question and you can pause the video anytime in order to get a better understanding of all these steps so r is to the power 6 equal to 3 by 4 is to the power 6 so r equal to 3 by 4 now here we have considered the value of common ratio as positive only why not negative because it is given in the question that the gp is having all positive terms so obviously the ratio has to be positive only because if there is negative ratio then the terms will also go negative okay so that's why it is the positive value of the common ratio which is 3 by 4 that is the answer let's move to the next question which is the sum of the first five terms of a gp is 363 if the common ratio is 1 by 3 find the first term so we have s equal to 363 which is the sum of first five terms s5 equal to 363 r equal to 1 by 3 n equal to 5 we need to know term here r is smaller than 1 so this formula will work sn equal to a into 1 minus r to power n upon 1 minus r we just put the values here and we will go about solving this question step by step okay i hope you are getting the solution of this question in case of any doubt please do comment or you can pause the video at any time okay so uh, we are getting the value of a here which is 242 equal to 242a by 243 so the value of a becomes 243 so the first term is 243 in that gp now before we go ahead further we need to tackle some kind of tricky questions okay let's move to the tricky part the tricky part is that suppose in a question we have to calculate sum of gp now only first and last terms are given in the gp okay and the number of terms are not given so how would you calculate the sum in that case because the number of terms are not given you can get confused how to solve this and these kind of questions you can get in competitive exams so 
we are giving you a formula for that which is sum to n terms of a gp is r into last term minus first term upon r minus 1 this is when r is greater than 1 while the second formula is first term minus r into last term upon 1 minus r when r is smaller than 1 please pause the video here and memorize this formula because this will really ease up your task next question find the sum of the terms of a gp if the first term is 4 and the last term is 1 by 64 and the common ratio is 1 by 2. So what we are given in the solution that first term is 4, last term is 1 by 64, r is 1 by 2 and we have to calculate the sum. Now this is that type of question we have just discussed. This is the tricky part in the question because here the number of terms n are not given. So we will use that formula. Here the common ratio is smaller than 1. So the formula is first term minus r into last term upon 1 minus r. So we just put the values here okay and we will go about solving this question accordingly 4 minus 1 by 128 upon 1 by 2 so we will further solve it as this we are just doing it as a fraction so the value becomes 5 11 into 2 by 128 so the answer is 511 upon 64 okay let's move to the next question which is find the last term of a gp whose first term is 9 and common ratio is 1 by 3 if the sum of the terms of the gp is 40 by 3 so here in the solution we have first term equal to 9 r equal to 1 by 3 sum is given 40 by 3 we have to calculate the last term okay and the number of terms are not given so we will use the same formula here common ratio is less than 1 so the formula for sum is equal to first term minus r into last term upon 1 minus r we will put the values here so 40 by 3 equal to 9 minus 1 by 3 into last term upon 2 by 3 we will go about solving this fraction as 40 by 3 into 2 by 3 equal to 9 minus last term upon 3 so 80 by 9 equal to 9 minus last term upon 3 last term upon 3 equal to 9 minus 80 by 9 so last term by 3 equal to 81 minus 80 upon 9 so you are just getting the solution here last term equal uh, last term by 3 equal to 1 upon 9 therefore last term equal to 1 upon 3 that's the solution in the next video you will get to know how to find sum for infinite terms and what to do when gp terms are to be assumed like no gp terms are given then what to do in that case these are very important kind of questions and for that you have to see the videos about this and watch the playlist on our channel the playlist is progressions okay I strongly recommend you to subscribe the channel but subscribing the channel will not help you in any way because you must hit the bell icon only then you will be updated with all the videos so please must hit the bell icon okay your feedback is very important to us so whatever doubts you have just comment below and you will get the reply instantly thank you